Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem And this is a uh, GMS in transit. Thinking out loud. And uh, I'm on the road, of course. Anyway, I'm listening to uh, uh, Bloomberg Radio. That's what I pretty much listen to. I listen to XM, but uh, I mostly listen to. Uh, Bloomberg uh, Radio, which is a financial news station on TV, on a TV, it's a cable station, but it also is a radio station. And um, they've been lately talking about, it's been brought up about slavery, you know, Jake being in slavery, and uh, they just started talking about it again. And basically, you have these Edomites that are. Uh, you know, CEOs and certain politicians, business people that are talking about, um, basically they're trying to make up for the fact that other Edomites in the past put us into slavery. Now, do they know that we're the Israelites and they're getting nervous and they're trying to get on our good side? Uh, another scripture that comes to mind is uh, Job 20 start the fifth verse and read on down it says that the, their children shall seek to please the poor their children are the children of Esau in the past that used a sword to take down Jake and to uh, and to use him uh, good scripture you can read and now I got to do it if I didn't do the breakdown I'll do it again because they took down several of my pages but Jeremiah, we always go to Jeremiah um, 30, verse 16, where it speaks about every last one of them shall go into captivity, paraphrasing, of course. But you got to read that whole chapter. You got to read Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, from the first verse to the last verse, because it covers us being under the yoke and uh, being under bond, uh, bonds or bounds, bonds. Now you have, in the, in the, in the, in back in the day, when we went into slavery, and in even in the ancient world, uh, during the time of the uh, Babylonians and Syrians, during those empires, they bound their, um, their, their enemies that they, they defeated. So the word bond comes from the word uh, 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 bound because back there you were you were bound by <coughs> being shackled and, and and I know what it feels like to be shackled I got shackled a number of times in this man's system they put the silver bracelets on you know your back anyway uh that's what they did in the ancient world they put yokes of iron around your neck. They shackled you with chains, and that's how it's going to be in the kingdom. We're going to shackle them up. We're going to we're going to we're going to um, arrest them. We're going to put yokes of iron on their necks. We're going to ship them back and forth. We're going to we're going to sell them to one another. We're going to have auctioning blocks. We're going to we're going to sell their families. But uh, coming back to this here, that's all that, that seems like these. Edomites are talking about, man. You know, about Jake being put into slavery and how can we help him? Well, you can only help him so much. If you really wanted to, if you wasn't really about big and, you know, uplifting Jake, you would have schools to teach them about finances, about managing their life and businesses. You would have grants. Not even loans. You would have grants specifically for Jake that the, the, the our our um, four parents, great 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 grandparents, and uh, descendants and so forth, or ancestors. Let, let's say um, you would have you would have the top people, the, 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 the top successful Edomites out there to actually have university for Jake and 
put them in for free and show them all the tricks of the trade. Show them how to be successful. The old saying is uh, you can give a person a fish and he can eat it for one day, or you can teach him how to fish and he can fish for himself every day. And that's what you Edomites do. You give you give uh, welfare, and, you know, SSI and these different uh, grants and so forth to Jake, but it's just in, it's just enough. They're not, and Jake is undisciplined any goddamn way, you know. Anyway, um, it says in Job uh, uh, 20 verse, started at the fifth verse, it, it says, and they, the ch thy, ch thy children shall seek to please the poor, and that's what they're doing. But guess what? That's not enough. See, true reparations is if you enslave somebody, you got to be enslaved. If you poke somebody's eye out, their eye got to be poked out. If you chop somebody's hand off, their hand got to be uh, chopped off. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, burning for burning, death for death. So true reparations is you got to be ready to go into captivity. And you're not going to do that. You're just not going to do that, man. And we got the scriptures to back up what we're saying. But we're, be, we're, we're going to be called a hate group. We're asking for true reparations, and we're being called a hate group. Talking about if you're going to, if you're talking about putting white people in slavery, that's that's hate. No, it's payback. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with hate, man. You know? That's really love. That's true love. And we're not a hate group. We're a love group. And more, more so, we're a truth group. Isaiah 14, 1 and 2 come to mind. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. Like I said, if somebody want to do that, break down, which is an easy, very easy breakdown. And this is why uh, Nate or Bishop Nate, Bishop Nathaniel, he said on his show that there's uh, no, there's no time of Jacob's trouble. Well, how do you explain uh, Jeremiah uh, 30 verse 7? How do you explain uh, Daniel chapter 12, uh, for the first couple of verses? That's Jacob's trouble, man. How do you explain uh, 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter? 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, where it speaks about they saw some that were happy, some that were glad, some that were sad, and some that were shackled. I believe the word shackle or bound, bound, bound. And we're still bound. We're bound by these ad adhesion contracts. So you're really not free. When you go when you go to the DMV, the local DMV, and you go to, go to get a license, you got to sign an application. That's not an application. That's an adhesion contract. It bounds you to the contract. That's why if you go through a red light, they can pull you over and give you a summons. And you got to pay for it. So that's slavery right there. Now, I know this happens in New York. It's got to happen in other states. Uh, if you never got a license, you're driving a car, and they pull you over, and, and you tell them, I never got a license, you know what? They can't ticket you because you're not a part of, you didn't sign it, you didn't sign the contract. Sign the contract, big boy, inside joke, which is the adhesion contract. You know, when you deal with Social Security and you got to, you lose your card, and all of it, who, who, who on earth has their original card? You got to, if you need it for something, you got to go to the, uh, the Social Security office and you got to fill out paperwork just like you do with a driver's license and anything else. Anytime you go for a job, you have to fill out a W-2 form or whatever form you deal with. So that's, that's, that's an adhesion contract that connects you to the federal government, man. You know, if you're out the system and you ain't never signed nothing, they really can't do nothing to you. That That's why you see so-called Mexicans standing on the corner. You know they ain't got no license. You know they're not citizens. 
but they can stand on the corner and you got white boys coming around and pick up trucks, picking them out. And they'll be police there and won't even say nothing. Why? Because they're not within the system, man. It's all about jurisdiction. See, the Esau got you because of jurisdiction. Esau got you because of adhesion contract. Esau got you because of uh, because of the, uh, the bound that he doesn't have you. He doesn't have a, a, a he doesn't have you a yoke of iron, and he's he's not uh, bound, bounding you that way. He's bounding you by contracts. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.